Has it occurred to you that we live in very uncertain times? I'm sure that it has. It seems as though we we can't uh, depend on anything these days. We're uncertain about how education is going to roll out. We're uncertain about how the economy is going. We're uncertain about how uh, things are going to change over time. And we just simply don't have answers to all the many questions that we have. Uh, the one place we can find certainty, of course, is in Jesus Christ and our relationship with him. And we hold on to that very dearly, especially in uncertain times. Uh, we want to be careful not to get discouraged or to give up along the way because we have the certainty of Jesus Christ and the peace that he gives to us. We really can, as followers of Jesus Christ, experience peace in the middle of uncertainty. There's a time in the life of Jesus when he was getting ready to go to the cross. Uh, the night before his crucifixion, he met with his disciples. He, he began to explain to them in some detail about what was going to take place, how he, would, how he would give his life for our sins, how he would die, how he would be raised again from the dead, how he would go back to heaven. And uh, that left the disciples with all kinds of uncertainty. They had been following Jesus for uh, three and a half years. They had uh, committed themselves completely to his cause, to his message. And now he was going to leave them. What would happen to them? What would the future hold? And Jesus explained that he'd send the Holy Spirit and they wouldn't need to fear, but he would take care of them. And then he says in John chapter 14, in verse 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. That's a great promise. It was a great promise for the disciples in their period of uncertainty. It's a great promise for us as well. Jesus grants us peace. We just simply need to live into that peace. He, he says he's given it to us as a gift. We need to claim that gift. We need to enjoy that gift. We need to live in that peacefulness. There needs to be a sense of peace within our hearts as we trust him. Uh, we need to recognize that he's given us this gift, not as the world gives, he says. The, the world gives and takes away and peace comes and goes and certainty and uncertainty are always floating around together. Uh, but Jesus is different. Uh, peace he gives to us, and it's a peace that we can enjoy day by day. So he says, don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't give up. Uh, don't be discouraged. Uh, Jesus Christ is with us, and when we rest in his peace, we will know that he is taking care of us. So I want to encourage you, as I encourage myself, uh, to trust Jesus to be the one who provides us with peace and certainty in uncertain times. Thanks for taking a few moments to share with me in this pastoral visit.